Hello everyone. For this interview, I invited one of Northern Mindanao's foremost fashion designers. Please welcome Mark Yaranon of Cagayan de Oro City. Oh, oh, Mark, uh, kilala na kita bilang fashion designer dyan sa Northern Mindanao, no? particularly sa Cagayan de Oro. Paki-inform naman yung viewers, viewers natin, pa, paano ka nagsimula bilang fashion designer? Back when I was still in college, uh, sa Cebu po ako nag-aaral. Mm. Uh, sa University of San Carlos, I took up Bachelor of Fine in Architecture. Tapos, after a few years, nag-shift po ako and then I took up Bachelor of Fine Arts, major in interior design. Mm. Doon ako na medyo na-exposed sa fashion design. Kasi po may subject po kami ng fashion design po Mm-mm. for a year. So, doon ko nakita yung mga gusto of Cebu, ng mga designers ng Philip Rodriguez, mm-hmm. silang Scott, yun, sila. Okay. Mark, ano ba ang linya ni Mark Yaran? Ano yung line na kilala si Mark Yarano? Ah, oh, uh, actually, ako po, yung lines ko po is, I'm very much influenced sa architecture po. So, basically, uh, clear po yung mga lines ko, mga cutting, yun. Yun yung design aesthetics ko. Uh, simple ah. yet very elegant. Yung ah, okay. Yung, Kaya pala yung mga damit po, oh, lalo na virtual, parang may architectural structures. Opo. Oh, oh. Very structured, yes. Very structured. Oh, oh. Anyway, mga cuttings, mga combination, yung mga... As, as, the, as one of the leading fashion designers in Northern Mindanao, may mga ano clients... Po, direct? As uh, bilang isa sa mga leading fashion designers dyan sa Northern Mindanao, may mga clients ka na, ga, na taga, you know, nasa taas upper crust, no? Yung syempre, may mga kaya. Papano, mm. papano, pa, how do you keep yeah, oh. those clients to be loyal to you? Oh, uh, yeah. 
in fact, uh, last week I have I have made two gowns for former governor of Kamigin mm. and uh, the new first lady of Kamigin as well, um, first lady Ria from Waldo. Uh, I made her turn. Uh, actually, no, uh, I gave for them to be loyal to me po. Uh, mm. I listen to them. Uh, I listen to their needs. Uh, hindi po ako nag-impose ng this time. Uh, uh, they talk to me. And also, um, I advise po yung anong bagay sa kanila, anong kulay ng bagay sa kanila. Yun. There's oh. communication po. Tapos, Basta hindi po ako nag-impose. Uh, I advise. I listen to them, to their needs as well. Uh, sa mga designs na gusto nila po. Oo. So, pero, I'm sure, Mark, meron ka rin mga difficult clients. No? Medyo um, mahirap pakisamahan. <laughs> Paano mo sila dinideal? <laughs> yes. In my 20 years of uh, fashion designer po, they exist po. <laughs> sa, <laughs> sa 10 clients, may ita talagang difficult client po. Uh, oh, oh. They're the one who's the bill. Kaya nga. So, uh, yun na. <laughs> I, I just embrace them. <laughs> Wala na tayong magagawa. <laughs> oh, oh. Positive na lang. Nandiyan na talaga. Oh, oh. Yeah, yung mga privileged client talaga. Yung demanding talaga sa time mo. Yung gusto nila, nandun ka na talaga pag this time yun, yung pag-fitting, dapat on time, yung mga ganun, yan. Yeah. Wala talaga magagawa dyan direct. <laughs> anyway, Mark, ako naman, yeah. matanong ko lang, tinatanong ko rito sa mga designers, sa ibang designers, di ba? Iko-compromise mo ba yung quality over financial gains? Actually, hindi po. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, quality pa rin din ako eh. So, I, yung mga, yung parang sa mga pageants, yung ganun. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ganyan uh, ka lang ng ganitong budget. So, tinatanggihan yan. Tinatanggihan ko po talaga yung mga ganun. Oh. Yung, kasi, I, quality po. In terms sa, uh, kesa sa medyo, yung sa financial gains po. At saka, Mark, kasi di ba, pinaghirapan mo din yan, di? Pinaghirapan mo yung name mo through the years. Uh, Oo oh, oh nga. Tapos, ganun. <laughs> di ba? We oh. work hard name for the craft. Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Mark, anong ano mo? Ano ang, ang sense of fulfillment mo as a fashion designer? Ano ang pinaka, ano, nakaka-fulfill oh. sa'yo bilang fashion designer? For me, yung mga client na nag-text, tapos ng mga, yung mga bride na nag-text sa akin na nag-thank you, yung nagsasend ng mga photos nila sa mga events nila, yung ginagawan mm. ko ng gown, tapos mga social media na ginagawa mm. ko, yun. Yun, oh, sense of fulfillment nga talaga naman. yun. Yung, oh, correct, yung appreciation correct. ng mga client po. Yung correct. thank you nila. Correct. Oh, talaga at saka, yun. At saka Mark, yung mga, yun. yung mga mm-hmm. like for example, yung gown for I miss, yung sa Pinas 15 po, yung first national competition na nag-join ako. Oo. Oh, oh. Pumunti na ng Pinas, uh, I dressed up Julie Borgwine of representing again the Oropo. So she won the best modern Philippine. Modern Filipiniana. So sa'yo yun, sa'yo. Ikaw yung nagdamit doon. Alam niya is bonus na yun kasi siya mismo nagsasabi. She's very comfortable with the gun. Yun, yun yung nakapofeel. Bonus na yung nanalo siya ng best in modern Philippine terno po. Oo, oh, mm. tama, tama. Sa atin ito. Oh, yung nakapofeel po. Yun. Mark, hmm. sino ang Mark Yarano no. kla- Sino ang Mark Yarano client? Sino yung client na nasa utak mo na Mark Yarano client? Ah, yung mga client ko, uh, the Mark Yarano client po is the one who who listens to me po. The one who 
yung bumibilib sa credibility ko po yung craft ko. Mm-hmm. The one who mm, yun, sila yung, yung loyal na who listens tapos kung anong pinagawa ko sa ah, pinapagawa nila sa akin yun yun po mm, yun ang markera nun anyway Mark I, you've gone national mm. already sumali ka na sa Fashion Week sumali ka na sa Manila Fashion Festival wala ka bang plano na dalhin yung fashion mo somewhere else sa itong Pagayan de Oro uh, like Cebu or Metro Manila wala ka ba balak mag-expand? Ah, actually po, actually meron din, pero may mga client din naman po ako sa sa US po. Last mm-hmm. year po, may gawa akong wedding gown na made of Mindanao silk, promoting the fabric itself. Mm-hmm. Ang hirap hanapin yan? Y- yun, ah, uh, DPC. Hmm? <laughs> ang hirap hanapin yeah. ang Mindanao silk. So. Uh, I'm, Mm. Ngayon uh, is medyo expensive po siya. Uh, ka-level niya yung pin niya. Oh. Uh, I made one gown which is again, a three-piece bridal gown for my client in Atlanta, Georgia po. Pinapadala oh. ko po last June. Walang fitting yun ha. <laughs> I, I only send them yeah, I only send them how to measure themselves, yung, yung form ko po. Tapos, I told them to follow instructions on how to measure yourself. Tapos, uh, from the shoulder down to the figure, to the waist, to the bust, may mga instruction to measure your bust, how to measure your waist, your hips, the length of the gown, plus the heels that you're going to wear. Pinalo nila lahat. Yun, perfect yung bridal gown. Oh, oh. Walang fitting oh, oh. na yun. Pinapal- then they send me the photos and they're so happy about the result of the gown. So yun, nakapulfill yun. Fulfillment talaga yun. Walang <laughs> fitting. <laughs> oh, Mark, yan ang challenge sa inyo eh. No? When, you, when, you take, uh, when mm. you take clients from other places, talaga walang fitting yan. Walang ano yeah. yan. Buo. Ito yung nangyayari po. Uh, di hindi na ako nagmimit ng mga clients ah uh, kasi nandoon yung instructions kung paano nila i-measure yung self nila tapos yun pinapadala ko na lang yung mga uh, damit mm-hmm. that's during the pandemic po Ay, last 2020 to speaking, 2021 speaking of the pandemic di ba mm-hmm. paano paano ka nag-survive i just want to know kasi di ba tayong heavily affected na in the industry eh di ba how were yeah, you able to actually, how are you how were you able to pull through despite the pandemic di ba uh, actually no it's so sad uh, losing talaga lahat tayo during the first two years of the pandemic uh, i have three brides na na-cancel auntie apat sila tapos may mga pageants din ako na-cancel and dami direct grab is so sad tapos uh, the first quarter of the pandemic. Yeah. Mark, itong pandemic, nakabawi ka na. I'm sure nakabawi okay na. Okay na po. Tayo bumawi. Okay na. Oo. Bumawi na tayo eh, itong after pandemic. Sana tuloy-tuloy na, Mark. No? Sana ano na? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Sana tuloy pa rin yung show mo, yung Philippine Fashion Revolution. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Nag-usap na kami ni Lynn Benson. Uh, wow. Mag- mag- sabi niya naman, pagdating niya dito, uh, we will talk about mm. it. Oh, oh. Wow. At alam ko naman yeah. na kagayan de oro designers na asahan ko yan. <laughs> yeah. Diba? Yes, of course. Of course. Oh, For okay. you. <laughs> Tapos, uh, Mark, matanong ko lang, in all your years, 20 years mo ngayon, eh, ba? 20 years ka ngayon, ano ang philosophy na nasa isip mo yeah. as a fashion designer? Uh, for me, ha, as a fashion designer, for me, less is more po. Hindi uh, po, ka, uh, for me, simplicity and elegance, classic yet sophisticated. Yun talaga yung mga lines ko po. Hindi mm-hmm. masyado yung daming fufu, yung mga ganon. 
yung classic, yung parang mga Valentino-ish, yung mga uh-huh. Armani, uh-huh. mga ganun. Yung Correct. very structured. Oh. Oh, Influence oh, oh, talaga. Oh. So, yun yung mga lines ko po, yung mga detail na mga lines, mga cutting, yun. That's my... No? The still architecture, uh, the architect in you. Yun po, yung design philosophy po. Oh. Mark, sabi ko nga sa iyo kanina, ang audience ko dito, ang pinaka number one ko is 18 to 25. No? Mm-hmm. And then pangalawa ko is 14 to 17, surprisingly, di ba? Mga nanonood sa akin. So I'm I'm sure may mga nanonood dito na gusto maging katulad ni Mark Yarano, especially those who are in Mindanao. And talk to them. Anong gusto mong i-impart sa kanila? Anong message? Oo. So those who want to be a fashion designer po um you you study you read nang read nang read nang read ng mga magazines tapos you search the internet po um dapat may inspired po kayo at tapos po uh, you should be good to your craft uh, sketch lang ng sketch kasi when I started po I, kinakapi ko po yung nakikita ko sa mga Vogue magazines po. Yun, doon ako nagsistart. I sketch, I sketch, I sketch. When I was in college, yun, nagsisketch lang talaga ako. I copied designs from these famous designers sa Vogue. Tapos, when I grew, when I when I was part of Miss Cebu Tourism before, which is Miss Cebu now, we were chosen as young designers to represent the costumes for the candidates. So okay. kami yung opening number when I, uh, when we were still in college po yung kinukuha po kami sa production uh, we were the young designers to open the opening number po ng mga candidates so yun doon kami th- th- that was my first experience po as a fashion designer po uh, uh, exposure ko po for Miss Cebu Tourism po that was 1998 and 1999 way back oh, <laughs> Cebu so <laughs> Oh, yun, yun. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, to those young who wanted to become a fashion designer, yun. Magpa-practice lang kayo ng sketch, copy. If you want, you can just first copy, then make your own aesthetics na. As you grow, you can make your own aesthetics, gawa kayo ng be original po. Be original. Yun. Dapat original ka. At first, siguro pwede kang mag-copy. No, not copy. Inspiration. Inspired. Yes. <laughs> Inspired ka sa, sa kay Chanel, kay Valentino, kay Armani, yung mga suits. Yun. Tapos, when you, as you grow, you can redefine. You can have your own aesthetics. Yun. Yun po. <laughs> oh tama. No, tama. Kasi madidevelop naman. Mm. Sige lang ng sige. Yeah. Diba? Sige lang. Oh, yun. Kasi so, ako, when I oh. started, I copied. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I, I Para ma-hone yung craft mo, yung techniques. Wala akong formal na education direct, ha? Sa fine arts <laughs> lang po. Yung, kasi we have fine oh, So, sketch lang ng sketch until you can make your own creative sketch. Di ba? Yung iba, yung mga ganun, yung mga process. Yung Iba-iba. Kasi ako ngayon, when I started, sketch talaga ng clear, no? may mukha, yung ganun, ganun, ganun. Ngayon, I'm more into flat sketching na po. Oo, yung damit, pag... damit na, importante. Yeah. Uh, kasi, I'm with facing clients na kasi ngayon. So, flat sketch na po para maintindihan ng mga client. Hindi yung ganun, um... nakaganun yung mga sketch na <laughs> pang fashion show lang. <laughs> pag, baka sa pag fashion show, di ba, yung pinasubmit kami ng mga portfolio, yun, parang lumilipad yung mga sketches, parang lumilipad, lumilipad yung mga models, pero pag pagdating sa client, iba, so it's flat sketch, para kitang-kita yung anong design, ano yung, saan yung mga aesthetics ng mga design, yun, ganun. So yun, yun Mark, I hope. <laughs> salamat for your time. I, I know that you're a busy person. Ah, uh, syempre humabol ka pa doon sa New Year, <laughs> di ba? Nag-ano ka pa nag syempre lakwatcha with oh. friends, di ba? Ah, uh, thank yeah. you for saying yes to this despite the distance. Metro Manila yeah. ako nasa Mindanao ka, but you said yes and I want to thank you for this. 
Okay. Thank you, you are also. you are my first interview for 2023. So lalabas oh, ito sa Wednesday. Lalabas ito sa Wednesday. I will send you oh, the thank- link. Okay, I will po. send you thank the you link. Po. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's Mark Yaranon of Cagayan de Oro City. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Happy New Year, Direct. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Thanks.